All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Antonio Webb here at UTSA, about to give a talk to the Pre-Med Society, and uh, you guys are gonna join along. So, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb, orthopedic spine surgeon. Thank you guys for having me. All right, guys, so I just got here to UTSA. This is the uh, place where I did my undergraduate degree, got my undergraduate education. We're here to talk to the students today about my path and just give some advice, sign some books. So yeah, should be a good event tonight. All right, so this is crazy because um, it's been 10 years since I graduated from medical school and to be able to just give the students a little bit of advice about my story and background. And so I'm looking forward to the talk tonight. So, just got here, UTSA, the auditorium, about to get set up. There's gonna be a lot of times where you're going to struggle. It's hard. I can't think of any person along this path, even the smartest person in my medical school class that didn't struggle. Failure is, it's normal, you're gonna fail. And I always ask myself, what could I have done differently? If you expect failure and you can learn from it, that's how you be successful. I took the MCAT three times. It took me three years to get into medical school. There was really gonna be nothing that was gonna stand in my way of getting into medical school. And if it would have took me 10 years of applying application after application after application, I would have applied every single year. My career started off in the military. I was here at Lackland. I joined the military at age 17. I did eight years in the US Air Force. Went to Iraq in 2005. My job was a medic. I was an EMT also, as well as an LVN, licensed vocational nurse. Throughout the whole time in my military career, I was going to school. I started off at St. Phillips College, took some classes at Northwest Vista, and then transferred over here to UTSA. But when I was on active duty, I was coming here to school. So I would work at nighttime in the ICU, and I would work maybe from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And I would come to class at eight, take classes till 12 or one, sleep for two or three hours, and go back to work. So I did that for seven years. That's how long it took me to get my undergraduate degree and uh, but ultimately just kept going and eventually got it. I would say the, uh, the main takeaway is um, just not letting your circumstances, your environment dictate your future. You know, you're gonna be faced with a lot of challenges, a lot of odds along this path and it's ultimately up to you in terms of how you respond. Some people respond to failure and to resistance challenge and they just crumble. You just have to uh, have it in you to just keep going despite of all the obstacles that are thrown your way. So I would say that's the most important. All right, no worries. What's up, man? Doctor, what's up? Doctor, Right, guys just got done with my talk here at UTSA uh, really encouraged and also just inspired to come back to the school where I got my undergraduate degree to just give back and that's what I love to do thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification so you don't miss any new content that we put out and uh, we'll see you on the next one